Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from the hit TV show Shark Tank. And with me is Josh Cunningham, CEO of Rockerbox. Rockerbox started seven years ago in the business of helping real estate agents and companies close more sales. But today we're going to talk about one of their other services that they provide, which is helping companies hire millennials and bring millennials into the workforce in a streamlined fashion. So, hey, Josh, good to have you. Hey, man. good to see you again, it's, Kevin. It's been a while since I saw you, but um, business must be great. It's good to hear. Yeah, Rockerbox is kicking uh, some, some good uh, action out there. So, Absolutely. congratulations. Now, I, I know in the past we've talked about the real estate side. This next function that Rockerbox uh, has been really developing uh, recently is getting into the millennial marketplace, showing companies, and not just real estate companies, but any company, why it's so important to hire millennials and how to do that, because you were giving me some facts and figures, but for those out there that don't know, what, what's happening in this world with millennials and how they're overtaking the workplace over the next five years? Sure, great question. You know, I've, I've consulted with hundreds of small, medium, and large-sized companies uh, on exactly this topic, because it's a, it's a very hot topic right now. It's predicted that by the year 2025, over 75% of the workforce is going to be made up of millennials. Wow. Right? So you better have a strategy on and, get hiring them. Exactly. Right? Okay. And, and, and where a lot of people have just kind of ignored this path, it's now becoming a serious, critical issue for businesses to learn how to motivate and attract and retain the top millennial talent. It's going right. to be a critical piece for their development in the future. Yeah. And so what gives you the passion for this? I mean, you, you've gone from real estate, which has been still very successful for you, but now you've got another service that you're offering. Where, where does the passion come from? Good question. I think... Uh, uh, as, as any good entrepreneur, what really makes our blood tick is to help people solve problems. Right. right. And so from day one in 2013, when I first started Rockerbox, we've been a purpose-driven organization and our purpose was to help move people forward. Uh, it was very obvious that we helped move people forward through the sales pipeline by identifying hot leads and passing them on to people. But after we got to see the results of our work really affect and impact even more people's lives, they affected the agents on the teams that we were working with. They affected the brokers and the team owners and their lives and their freedom mm, and their business. Nice. And so again, that purpose to move people forward, um, what really gets me excited to jump out of bed each and every day is really the individuals at the Rockerbox family, mm, okay. is our team of millennials and the, the opportunities that we want to give them so that they can fast forward through life faster than I ever thought was right. possible. And so the, the millennials is, is that you, you need to treat them and handle them a little bit differently than, than the normal workplace, correct? Certainly. Right. Yes. yes. There's some uh, specific tips and, and, and strategies and techniques that we've employed at Rockerbox that have helped us grow a winning culture and be able to attract and retain these top millennial talents. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. going to be different levels of, of, of skill, no matter what generation you're talking about. Right. But if you're excited about having your company succeed and take it to the next level, you need to be attracting the top level of these millennials. Right. And so the, are there other companies that are out there? I mean, there's plenty of, of companies that will help you hire people. Sure. But with a millennial focus like Rockerbox, is that unique proposition in the marketplace? Exactly. Here's yeah. what makes us different, Kevin, is we've been in the game grinding and hustling day in and day out every single day with a team of millennials. We've grown and built a multi-million dollar organization entirely from the efforts of 100% of millennials. Mm. And so we're on the ground doing it each day and every day. And not only that, we're getting feedback from our employees as they move on into the workforce. And, you know, I'm getting text messages from recruiters all the time that they see that they see Rockerbox on an applicant's, you know, resume mm. and, it, and it gets them excited. And so we're, we're, we're doing research from every single angle, not only from within our organization, but actually seeing the impact that these employees have when right. they go on into their gotcha. full-time careers. So I want to, want to dive into, into this area because you, you help companies understand the millennials, deal with them, hire them, keep them motivated. But for somebody that doesn't do that, mm -hmm. what are the problems they have in the millennial marketplace? Well, we, we've heard millions of times before that people are our most important asset, right? Right. And so we're looking at an asset class that's changing significantly mm -hmm. and is going to over the next couple of years. So if you're not willing to adapt and change with the times, you're going to be putting yourself out of business. And, mm -hmm. you know, let me give you an example. Just, uh, you know, a few months ago, I, I met with a, a business owner, a fellow prospective business owner, and talked to him about all of his aspirations of growing and scaling his organization. And so I shared with him some of the simple things that we do, some of the very effective tools, like, for example, a mastermind. We have masterminds at Rockerbox. Every single month, mm -hmm. our employees come out and they offer up suggestions on how we can improve and grow our business. Yeah. And this is one of the critical tools for us to build and grow uh, our culture. So I offer up this advice, this uh, aspiring young professional and young entrepreneur. And uh, I just bumped into him last week in Vegas at a conference. Right. 
And sadly enough, he's not, he does not have the team of experts that he was aiming for. He doesn't even have a team of generalists. Oh. He's back to a one-man show. It's a me, myself, and I operation. Mm. And that's because he's failed to learn these new trends and these new culture-building tools that are going to be necessary for attracting and retaining the top-level right. talent. You mentioned culture-building. I, I like that term. But mm -hmm. are, are millennials looking for, for more authentic authenticity in the marketplace? And what, what are the, some of the differences between millennials and maybe... Um, an older workforce or another workforce. It is a different world that yeah. we live in. You know, we're, we're, we're a creature of, of, of the world that we were brought up in, and it's no longer that a paycheck is just enough to right. keep someone motivated. So at they want to have the camaraderie feeling. They want to exactly. be part of something significant, yep. et cetera, right? They want to know that their efforts are, are appreciated. And, right. that, and that their opinions matter right. and that they're understood and that, uh, you know, that they're making a difference in this world, no matter yeah. what that could be. In the example of Rockerbox, when we make phone calls, the work that nobody else wants to do, we're doing all day, every day, and we've made it fun and we've made it meaningful. And that's been the big impact. So when you go into a company and you're going to help them uh, hire and train and bring millennials uh, on board, what are the systems or procedures? How, how does it work? Explain how Rockerbox works with a company. Exactly. So we can help in many different ways, you know, through speaking, consulting, online training, uh, even my book, The Millennial Workforce Invasion. Mm -hmm. uh, there's many different ways to help out. But as we all know, ideas don't matter unless you take action on right. them. Right. Right. And so that's the most important thing is we can provide you the, the, the groundwork that you need to build an environment that's going to attract millennials. But it's up to you to actually take action on that and put these things into place. So right. that's the most important thing is ideas are great, but you got to be willing to take action. Yeah. And so it is, do you have a system for, um, for, for getting them, finding the right millennials? Is this part of it too? Is, is it, because there, if somebody is, is looking to fill a position in their company yep. and they just normally, I don't know where they go monster or somewhere to go get people. How do you teach them to do this differently? Sure. The most important thing, Kevin, up front is that they have to want it. Okay. Right? Everybody needs this. Right. But it's not about talking to people that need it. It's about talking to people that want it. Okay. Because you have to be able to wake up and be engaged in making a difference in your company, in the culture, and the environment, and some of the, the opportunities that you provide. Right. Because with this millennial um, age group, you know, you can't just go through the motions. Right? right. It's not about them believing what you say. But it's about them believing that you believe in what you say. Gotcha. That's important. Because, you know, when you're out on the internet, there's all kinds of stuff and, and not everything is, is truthful. So, and this is one of the reasons why millennials want that authenticity. Exactly. And if they find it and you can show them that this is the real deal, yep. then you might have some real long-term players that are looking to grow with the business. Exactly. Right? So there's some folks out there right now that have to be thinking, hey, I need to engage the millennials in my business. Um, let's talk about what, how can you give them some words of encouragement on, on, on your business and, and maybe getting a hold of you in the sure, process. Sure, sure. Yeah, if you're interested in learning more about how, you know, we can help, I, you know, a lot of times I'm speaking at events with hundreds of people and at the, you know, at the end of the presentation I ask, how many of you would benefit from having, you know, me in your corner, working for you, thinking for you, helping you put an action plan in place? And so that's exactly what we can do, uh, you know, to help you. But again, you got to be able to will, willing to take action. Take again. action. Yep. One of, one of my first books was called Act Now because people always came up to me and said, hey, I had this idea, but I never did anything about it. I said, you needed to act then, yep. but now, act now. Yep. And so I guess now is the time. No and, better time and than you now. Said, in, in a few years, uh, by 2025, 75% yeah. of the workforce yep. is going to be millennials. So yep. if you don't start learning about it now, it may exactly. be too late. It will. So, um, Give us the name of your book again, The Millennial... The Millennial Workforce Invasion. The Millennial Workforce Invasion. Uh, Josh Cunningham, CEO of Rockerbox. Um, many times we've been together, and this is a great time to, to say, get a hold of Josh because you're going to want to find out more about The Millennial Invasion that's out there, okay? Give it Thanks one more time, the book. Yeah, The Millennial Workforce Invasion. Workforce Invasion, sorry. How to, how to attract, hire, train, and retain the top millennial talent. We got it right that time. Millennial Workforce Invasion. Check it out. Thanks, Josh. Good Thanks a lot, you. Kevin. Great Take catching care. up with you. Take Thank care. Thank you.